Okay, so uh, in this in this training today, we are going to learn what is meant by intervalent routing. So as you can remember previously, uh, we learned how to do VLAN configuration. We learn uh, we learned how to configure VLANs on the switches. And uh, through what we learned, you could easily identify that uh, by default, devices in different VLANs cannot communicate but different i mean devices in same vlan will communicate so you know in in every network we will have different vlans and we will need some vlans to communicate and we will restrict some vlans for us to enable vlans to communicate then we will we will have to do what is called inter vlan routing which is a protocol so we can see that therefore to enable them to communicate we should implement intervillian routing so thus intervillian routing is refers to a process in which we make different it's a process and we make different villains virtual lands or villains to communicate with each other irrespective of where the villain are present so intervillian routing can be achieved we can implement the VLAN routing either on a router or a layer 3 switch so when we implement the VLAN routing on a router we call it a router on a stick not route but router on a stick r o a s but whenever we implement uh, sorry sorry whenever we implement uh, the VLAN routing on a on a a layer 3 switch uh, pen arrow switch arrow ROAS whenever we implement uh, interval routing on a layer 3 switch then it's called virtual switch virtual interface SVI so what's the difference between router on a stick not route but a router router on a stick what's the difference between a router on a stick and svi or switch virtual interface in a router on a stick we divide we divide a single interface into sub interfaces for example we've been configuring gig 00 so for example if we had vlan 10 vlan 20 vlan 30 in our network how will we carry out uh, subnetting we are going to create sub interfaces on a router like sub interface like if the interface is the physical interface was gig 00 then the sub interface can be gig 00.10 gig 00.20 gig 00.30 according to vlan number and the vlan and the sub interfaces will act as the default gateway to the respective vlan so for example for vlan 10 the sub interface of the router which is gig 00.10 will be the sub interface of will be the default gateway of vlan 10 so for example if if this was vlan 10 and um, let's just assume that this was a router so the sub interface which is gig gig 010 is the default gateway of this pc and what is a switch, switch virtual interface? A single uh, SVI switch virtual interface can be can be created for a VLAN. So, for example, if you have VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, we can create SVI for each VLAN. So, for example, it SVI for VLAN 10, another for VLAN 20, VLAN 30, 40, 50, etc., etc. So, likewise. The same way uh, the sub interface acted as the default gateway of a respective VLAN, the SVI will also act as the default gateway for that VLAN. So, in this demo, for more notes or for more materials, uh, I will send them. At, and for this demo, we'll let's start with router on a stake inter VLAN routing. So, I'll go back and uh, open my packet tracer. And in this case, we need uh, a router, a 2911 router. We need a switch. 
<coughs> and I need uh, let's say three computers I just need three compute I mean three ne three la VLANs each containing two computers and I uh, will connect them use automatic Okay, so uh, quickly I'll do this. Okay, so uh, what I'll do, I'll just do comments very very fast Okay, so uh, this is VLAN 30, VLAN 20, VLAN 10. So VLAN 10 has that network, VLAN 20 has this network, VLAN 30 has that network. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just assign them IP addresses. Uh, for example, this one is, uh, it should be 192. Good. And I want to make gateway twelve dot one. So this uh, should take twenty dot something. I'll start with twenty dot ten. Um, copy that. And the gateway to have 20.1 and this one should be 20.2 20. 20.20 20. 20. and gateway to have uh, 20.1 close and finally we got this side and uh, we send the PRS very very fast 30.10 Copy this thirty dot one and finally this one thirty dot twenty is enough. Okay. Okay. So in this in this demo, we're going to start with the way I've said router on a stick. And for a router on a stick, we are going to create sub interfaces according to the VLAN numbers. So the first step that we do, we assign this computer, this host devices, uh, VLAN numbers. So for example, these two host VLAN 10, VLAN 20, VLAN 30. So we need to go back, to, we need to go to this switch and create VLANs and assign ports uh, VLAN IDs. Okay, so let's just click on that switch first. Come to CLI, then uh, enable config T. All right, so come here and we check which interface is that. It's F02 on the switch here. 
this is f02 and the other one is uh, the other one is f03 here it's f03 f02 f03 so you come to switch and you say interface range before that let's create the vlans first before sending them to ports so we need how many vlans three vlans vlan 10 first vlan 10 then let's name it name it uh, name it it then another one with vlan 20 then name it uh, hr another one is vlan 30 then name it uh, finance field exit and now let's see our vlan so just say do show vlan and you can see the vlans are here vlan 10 vlan 10 20 30 they are active but they don't have any interfaces assigned you can see interfaces are assigned under default vlan 1 so we need to assign them interfaces okay for vlan 10 we have seen that it's connected to f uh, f42 and f43 this one this one is a f42 and f43 so we go back to the same switch and uh, it was now assign those ports uh vlan id so interface range fa02 to 3 range from fa02 to 3 then we say switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 10 very important so it's very very simple command enter the range of the interfaces then make them to be access mode then assign the vlan ids to the ports okay exit so let's move here let's move here this is a uh, fa04 and fa05 so the same way we do interface range fa0 slash uh, 4 to 5 then we just say switch port mode mode access then switch port access vlan 20 because it's here and it enter you exit finally we come here this f 7 f 6 so it's from 6 to 7 so interface range fa0 slash 6 to 7 so it's put mode access access then switch put access vlan 30 exit and save do right always remember to save now if you can now display vlan remember the time we were displaying vlans these were not assigned anything but you could see vlan 1 had everything on it so we need to uh, we have already assigned uh, ports to this vlan so we need to display the same command again to verify if they have this vlan have been assigned uh, port numbers all right so we just say do show vlan and do it enter so you can see VLAN 10 IT as these two interfaces, VLAN 20 HR as these two interfaces, VLAN 30 Finance as those two interfaces. So we are good to go. We have assigned VL VLANs to the ports and configure the computers to, to have IP addresses. So let's test first the communication. We said by default devices in different VLANs will not communicate but different devices in same VLANs will communicate so just click on the PC this was uh, this was uh, 20 10 or 20 so I'll ping I'll try to ping 10 or 20 ping 1 2 168 10 or 20 so it's going but if I try to ping if I try to ping 20 or 20 or 30.20 there will be no communication why by default devices in different VLANs will never communicate by default 
the, the right term is by default because we can do something there and make them communicate so just the something that you want to do here is called intermediate routing and in this video we started with router honesty so I'll just write here ROAS ROAS router and a stick inter VLAN routing okay so we have done with this switch remember this switch has already have by def I mean now it has four VLANs the default VLAN which is VLAN 1 then VLAN 10 that we VLAN 10 20 30 and 40 I mean VLAN 10 20 30 that we've just configured so the first VLAN is VLAN 1 which is default it's comes with the switch you cannot modify it you cannot configure it it's there now we've configured three villains plus the default one there are four villains and we would need because this is the router that will enable these devices to communicate we will need information to come from this let's say from villain 10 to go to the router and the router to enable it to communicate to villain 20 or villain 30 meaning that information or data or traffic will be passing through this interface you see this yeah it will be going this way then the router will forward it back from VLAN 20 will go this way and the router will forward it back so this link here must be trunk trunk interface because trunk can access multiple VLANs at the same time can allow passage of multiple VLANs Remember, access port can only access one wheel at a time. So this one must be trunk port. Trunk port. That one should be trunk port. To allow all these villains to pass, to go to the router and come back. Alright. So let's assign this one the role of trunk. So which interface is this one? FA01 Interface FA0-1 Just say switch port mode Trunk And you hit enter Exit Then do right Always make sure that this is trunk If this is not trunk You won't achieve your objective because you have you have a lot of villains to pass through and they cannot pass through an access port by default all ports on a switch are access ports so you have to make this one trunk all right so all the configurations are done on the switch so we move to the upper layer which is on the router remember the first step was the topology assign them in the network and uh, the villain just the comments and configuring the pieces with the right IP addresses then we created the VLANs on the switch then we assigned the VLANs on the switch on the ports that are connecting to each VLAN okay then finally enable trunk port here to enable all these VLANs to go to the router and come back all right now the next phase of configuration is done here on the router just click on the router and place it somewhere here and the first thing that we do, we confirm which port is this. This is gig 00. You can see it's gig 00. Click on it. Come to CLI and just say no. And enable uh, config. And now we say here gig 00 to be. We, let's turn it up. You know it's, it's shut down by default. So let's say uh, interface gig 0 slash 0 no shutdown no shutdown turn it up so you can see it's, it has turned green it has turned green right all right so the concept of route on a stick in terminal routing what do we do you check the connecting interface we found that it's gig 00 and now here we create sub interfaces as per the VLAN IDs here. This is VLAN 10. To create a sub interface of VLAN 10, we just say interface gig 0 slash 0 
dot ten. It's a sub interface of this. This one is a child of this. And this child refers to VLAN 10. Should reference. It should reference to VLAN 10. So you just hit enter. Okay. So you can see uh, this one interface change to up. Uh, yeah, it's, it has been created. Now we've said that this one should reference to VLAN 10. So let's create the link between this interface and VLAN 10. How do we create the link? You just say encapsulation dot one q ten. You just write en, then you hit on tab, it will complete encapsulation. Then write d and hit tab, it will complete dot one q and write the VLAN number. We said that this one should reference to VLAN 10. Now we've created a link to VLAN 10 using this command encapsulation dot one q ten and you hit enter. And we said guys the sub interfaces should be assigned. We said the first interface, the sub interface I mean should be assigned IP address and that IP address should act as the default gateway of the respective VLAN. For example, uh, this is a sub interface that should reference to VLAN 10 and that sub interface we should assign it IP address that act as the default gateway of VLAN 10. So the default gateway of VLAN 10 was, uh, was supposed to be, you can see, uh, it was supposed to be 10, 10, 10, 10 dot 1. I mean, 1 and 2 was 10.1. Yeah. So let's assign it. Just say IP address to be 12.168.10.1. And subnet mask, don't forget, 55.255.255.0. And you hit enter. You exit now that sub interfaces. And now you create another sub interface for VLAN 20 now. We come to VLAN 20. You just create, you just use this physical interface to create the ch children because you know they are the one coming here. So the interface gig, gig 0 slash 0. Now for, for a child that will reference to VLAN 20 is dot 20. Then now create the link. How do we create the link? Encapsulation dot one q twenty. Link it to VLAN twenty here. And hit enter. After that, just assign it IP address. The IP address was uh, just write IP address. IP add v one two dot one dot one. Some of the mask of two four five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero and you hit enter then you exit that sub interface and finally we create a sub interface for vlan 30 how do you do that we just use the same physical interface which is gig zero zero then the sub interface for vlan 30 should be dot 30 and you hit enter now we'll link it to vlan 30 encapsulation dot 1q30 and assign it IP address IP add to be 192.168.30.1255 don't forget to submit pass 255.255.0 exit and with this do right we are done configuring it the villain routing using router on ST. Now if I can just go back to this router here, this computer uh, in a try to ping, the first time I ping 20.20 uh, .20 here, 20.20 20, nothing happened. Now let me try to ping again 20.20 20, and uh, let me see if it will ping just a minute it should, yeah so it's pinging. Now let's ping 30.20 .20. 
3.20 also should ping because we were enabled in the Google routing using router on a stick. Router on a stick, just one stick, but we create a uh, little sub interfaces of that stick. And those interfa sub interfaces should reference to VLANs. So if I hover over this router here, you will see those sub interfaces created. You will see the first interface gig 00, another one is gig 00.10. Gig 00.20, Gig 00.30, Gig 01, Gig 02. Yeah. So physically, we have Gig 00, but virtually, we have uh, we have virtual children of Gig 00 as dot ten dot twenty and dot thirty. So that's a way to configure intervenant routing using router and stick. Very simple and easily explained. So maybe if you have any question so that I can clarify. So uh, I got lost at the point when I, you were talking about the trunk port from router zero. I couldn't understand. That. Okay. <clears throat> the trunk port is set on a switch, not on the route. So the reason why we set up a trunk port here is to enable all of these VLANs to pass through to the router. Remember, if this one is unaccessible, I mean, remember, by default, all ports on a switch are access ports. And an access port cannot allow passage of multiple VLANs. Remember, here we have how many VLANs? One, two, three plus the default one now there will be four villains now villain one which is the default villain villain 20 villain 10 20 30 that we just created those are four villains they cannot pass here if you've not configured this as a trunk so we have to make this one trunk first for them to pass through anything else or did the don't you understand that still Hello. Sorry, I will. Re I, I understand, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. So, uh, any question? I'm okay. I will. Uh, uh, if for those when I do normally when I get lost at some point, I go and check the video, and uh, from there I understand better. Okay. Okay. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay so uh for the next we need to do complete them today because uh tomorrow we need to do, do another thing so uh mm -hmm. the next phase is to configure switch virtual interface which is very very easy today very very easy it's quite much easier than uh route on a stick okay so uh for a switch virtual interface just we create what is called SVI switch virtual interface router i mean it will routing using layer 3 switch layer 3 switch work both as a, a switch and a router okay so i'll just extend this on this side uh somewhere there and uh um i would like to use this one still oh no you want to sound better let me just create another topology very very fast so i need switches 29 60 switches uh let's say three of i want three of them still three of them three of them and the multi-layer switch for multi-layer switch just choose uh this is a multi-layer switch there are two 3560 and 3650 so just choose the 3650 and uh for this i'll copy the computers i'll copy the computers copy and i paste somewhere here 
Oh no. Just a minute. I just want to copy the computers. Good. Copy, paste. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So I want to put them there. Okay. Okay. So remember, I have <coughs> I have configured these computers uh, on the other video. Uh, no need of this now. Okay. So we connect them. Yeah, we are going to use layer three switch, which this is the layer three switch, and uh, one of these fine days we need to navigate layer three switch. Understand a lot of issues with it. So this layer, this is a multi villain. It's a villain routing using uh, multi layer or layer three switch. Someone call some people call it multi layer, others call it uh, layer three switch. In production network, we call it the core switch. So both applies: core switch, multi layer switch, layer three switch and uh, I make so that's VLAN 10 I've configured IP address as you can remember there and uh, this is VLAN 30 I've also configured IP address as you can remember there and uh, finally um, blue this is plan 20 okay so if you go over these computers you'll see i've configured a 10.10.10 then uh, the uh, default gateway is there if you come here also applies if you come here also applies so what you're going to do is to begin uh configuring vlans on these switches the access layer switches this one so we should configure VLANs from, for example, let's say this was HR department, IT department, and finance department. So all ports, let's just assume that uh, except this one, all ports except this one should be in VLAN 10. Here also, all ports on this switch except this one because I told you that this one should always always be trunk. This one should be all all ports except this one should be vlan 20 same applies here so let's go here and uh, and say this um come here and uh, the first thing we do now the first thing we do enable uh, config t the first thing we do let's make this one track first before we come and configure VLANs here. So this one is uh, FA zero FA zero one. So interface FA zero slash one. Then we just say switch port mode trunk, and that's all that switch. Come to this switch and make the same FA zero one interface FA sorry sorry enable. Uh, config t interface fa0 slash 1 switch port mode track uh, finally you come to this switch and you say enable config t interface interface fa0 slash 1 switch port mode mode track okay so let's go to each individual switch to configure VLANs and assign them to ports. So I click on this switch, I come, exit, and let's create VLAN. 
just say VLAN 10. Don't forget to create VLAN. VLAN 10. Name it as IT. Exit. Now let's assign ports this VLAN ID. So interface FA, let's say range FA0 slash 2 because slash 1 is the, this one. So let me just see. Flash slash 2 to 3. Let's uh, I just want it uh, to 24 because there are two, 24 ports on a switch. So on this switch, you can see there are 24 uh, first Ethernet ports. So I want all of them to be in uh, VLAN 10. So interface FA0 slash 2 to 24 because flash 1 is strong. So all the remaining one, let me, let's make them uh, VLAN 10. So let's say switch port mode access. Then switch port access VLAN 10. Exit and do right we are done with that switch we won't come back here again so let's go do this and the same thing applies interface range fa0 slash 2 to 24 then switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 20 Oh, we did create VLAN here. Exit. Let's create VLAN. You can you can see access VLAN does not create exist exist creating VLAN. You know when the VLAN is not existing, it creates by it creates when you enter that VLAN. So it has created a VLAN, but it doesn't have a name. So if you can just say do show VLAN, you will see there is a just a minute. Um, there is VLAN 20 here and the name is VLAN 0020 so it just it generates a random name and gives it so let's just create that VLAN just let's recreate that VLAN and give it a name so VLAN 20 VLAN 20 uh, name HR exit so if you can just say do show VLAN again do show VLAN you will see HR is here with the ports here all right so um so okay so we move to this switch and uh, i want i want to challenge you here now because uh, there was a time I, re I received a challenge one day i want to add some pieces here i want to add some computers here i just want to add some computers here and uh, copy this copy now here this one is here this one is here and I make this one is VLAN 40 under the same switch okay and I connect them so I will start connecting thing them from I want to start connecting them from F10 F10 Mm, yes f10 sorry i want to start connecting from f10 now to and f12 so i will say from f2 to f9 should uh, should have to uh, villain 30 then from f10 uh, to f24 should be villain 40 all right so i go here exit then interface no, 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 just get VLAN first. VLAN, VLAN 30. Name it Finance. Exit. VLAN 40. VLAN 40. Name it Admin. Okay, exit. So we are we are now allowed to assign ports, roles, I mean this VLAN IDs. So I can just say do show VLAN. You will see. This VLAN 30 and VLAN 40, they don't have interface assigned yet. So we need to do that uh, to facilitate intermediate routing configuration. So I go here and say this VLAN 2, I mean FA02 
and a phase 3. And we see that from a phase 02 to a phase 09 should be 130, then from a phase 010 to 24, will 40. Okay, so you just say interface range a phase 0 slash 2 to 9. Just say switch port mode, switch port mode access, then switch port access VLAN. 30 and you hit enter exit then we go here also to configure we go we go where how uh interface range range and phase 0 slash 10 to 24 switch port mode access then switch port access vlan 40 exit and we are done with everything on that switch as long as this is trunk all of these villains will plan will pass through so we don't it doesn't matter how many villains you configure they will pass through as the, as long as this is trunk and as you, as you remember the first thing that we did was to configure this as trunk so we are done at the lower level so let's move to the upper level when we move to the upper level the first thing that we do is to remember this one is trunk this is trunk this is trunk but this is a switch even if it's a layer 3 switch even if it's a multi-layer switch it has both switching and routing capability so these are switch ports you see these are these are switch ports by default. So if a switch to a switch connects, then both ends should be trunk. Remember on the router, on the router, we were not doing anything on the router because uh, a router doesn't, does, doesn't have switch port. We are only configuring trunk on this side, but not on this side. Because this is a layer 3 interface, we assign them IP addresses based on the sub interfaces. But now here, this is a switch. And a switch to a switch, the, both ends should be trunk. So we make this on a trunk, we make this on a trunk, and this on a trunk. So this is uh, gigs 101, gig 102, and finally gig 103. So if you come here, oh, the device must be powered on fast good how do you do if you receive that error just click on the multi-layer switch and you see this one ac power supply just drag it drag it to this empty slot and leave it there and if you come here you will see the switch is booting just close it and give it some 10 seconds then you go back and you start configuration Remember this one is switch to switch. This one must be trunk, trunk, trunk. Yeah, because a switch to switch, both ends should be trunk, trunk to enable facilitating uh, communication and transfer of VLANs from one switch to another. So I'll click on it again. I believe now it's uh it's, it has booted. So uh just say no. And now you can see it's just a switch. Although it's a multi-layer switch, it, it can do both routing and switching. Enable. Config. T. Config terminal. Yeah. So the first the first thing that you do, as I have said, make this one, this one, and this one track. So I'll click on it. Uh, this one, this one was uh gig one one. Uh, gig 101, gig 102, and gig 103. So from gig 01 to gig 03, interface range gig 1 slash 0 slash 1 to 3. Switch port mode, mode, track, and hit enter, exit. And now we are done on configuring trunk on 
this interface. Remember as per now, if you can just try to ping from this, this PC here, before I can co complete the terminal routing, just ping uh, 12.168.10.10. There will be no communication. There will be no communication. Why? Because we will not achieved intervenal routing. So we need to do uh, intervenal routing to enable the device to the, the devices in the network to communicate. Yes. So uh, there will be no communication. So let me try even for three dot some thirty dot something. Then I'll try all of them later when we shall have achieved intervenal routing. And that is something. So both of them are unsuccessful. So I'll just close that one and let's go back to our switch here. So in the switch here, as I have said, this is a switch, although it can perform both routing and switching. By default, it's just a switch. It just acts as a switch by default. So, for it to perform routing functionality, then we should enable that routing functionality. So, before we can proceed with the configuring intervillant routing, as the name suggests, intervillant routing, let's enable routing capability on this multi layer switch. How do we do that? Just click on the switch and say, IP uh, IP routing that's all this command will enable uh, routing on this switch previously it was just acting as a normal switch but after enabling this command it can now act as a switch and a route all right so let's begin uh, creating intervillant routing Back in the document here, we see that a single v SVI, which stands for Switch Virtual Interface, can be created for a VLAN. The SVI created for respective VLAN acts as a default gateway for that VLAN. So, how do we create these SVIs? Switch Virtual Interface. Just click on the switch. The first thing that you do, make sure you create. Mm, sorry, you create. You create all of these VLANs. 10 20 30 40 on this switch also make sure you create level 10 10 30 and level 40 on this switch first so click on it and uh, just get level 10 it's not a must to give it a name here actually it's not a must to give it a name here but you know for good practice just name it uh VLAN 10 was our i which was our i think it then VLAN 20 was our HR, uh, name HR. Uh, VLAN 30 was our finance. And finally, VLAN 40 was our admin. Admin. So you have to make sure that this switch has all the available VLANs in the network. All of them. Even if you had 100, make sure this switch here has all of the available VLANs. After doing that, now you can proceed to create what is called SVI, Switch Virtual Interface. Switch Virtual Interface. So how do we create switch virtual interface? We just enter interface VLAN 10 and that's all. That's how to create a switch virtual interface. For example, interface VLAN 10, interface VLAN 20, VLAN 30, interface VLAN 40, etc, etc. And hit enter. Now you assign it IP address. The IP address for VLAN 10 should be uh, 102.168 dot uh, 20 ah uh, sorry 10 dot 1 then 255 dot 255 dot 255 dot 0 
and it at the oh, IP address. IP address. Just like that. And it at the. Then you go back and get another SVI for VLAN 20. So just say it of is VLAN 20. And you just send it IP address which was 20.1. Exit. Then you go for VLAN 30. And you send a peer address which was uh, 30.1. 30.1. And finally, you go for VLAN 40. VLAN 40. And you send it a peer address which was 40.1. Did I really configure a peer address to the, the computers? I exit and do right we are done configuring inter vlan on this multi-layer switch so before that i did configure ip address to these computers so i'll do it very very fast to save time i forgot to sign ip address there 12.168.40.10 yes copy and finally yes so uh come here sorry put it at 20 now here remain 40.1 good so we just done and that's how just to configure interval routing on a layer 3 switch so we just get svi so if i can just say do show uh start you can see the sub interfaces, uh, the SVS, we call them SVS. These are SVS. They have been created there and have been assigned IP address that corresponds to respective VLAN. The first thing you do, create VLANs. I mean, make all of these trunks. Then enable routing, create VLANs and create sub interfaces the uh, sorry sorry so not sub interfaces the sv highs switch virtual interfaces sub interfaces applies here on the router not here so if we can just test communication uh let me try from even the middle network um Ping one at two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot ten. It should communicate. Yes. So uh, another one is uh, twenty dot uh, twenty. It's uh, it's already twenty. That's uh, that that is in a twenty network. So there's no need because they, it it will communicate by default. Thirty. And finally forty. So that's just a way to, uh, to configure intervillian routing both on a router and a multi layer switch. So, maybe if you have a question here, it's very, very simple, very, very simple, and very interesting. I will gladly answer. Do you get any question? No. Yeah, you understand it better? But uh, uh, at some point uh, for me to layer switch, there is a lot of things. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think this video will really help you. Uh, will really guide sure. you. Yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. So uh, I believe that will mark the end of this class because. Uh, yeah. I can, I can see it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, nineteen zero ten here. No, that stand here. Yeah, stand yeah. Too. Okay, so I'll just I'll just uh, end the video and send you the classes later. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Have a good day. See you tomorrow. See you, bro. Yeah. Yeah.